Lucy, it's great to have you here on Keep Productive. Uh, we love doing Notion setups and you are a bit of a fan of Notion as well, right? Absolutely. I, uh, <laughs> I started using Notion last January 2021. Uh, before that, from really from 2014 on, I had used pen and paper bullet journal. So oh, yeah. once I found Notion, I, I dove in. You know, yeah, the, I'm curious there. Like that's a that's a for some people that's quite a big leap, isn't it? How mm -hmm. did you find the transition? I think that the main thing that was really pulling me towards some sort of online platform um, was after having my son. Like the layouts of like writing out everything in a bullet journal every day. I was like, I I don't have time for this. I would really like. <laughs> something that lives digitally that I can access on my phone, you know, on my work computer, on my laptop, because I was not spending as much time at my desk. Um, and so I think that I was already kind of in the market for an online system. Um, but Notion just turned out to be the thing that I could build in. And that was really uh, attractive. Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. And also the thing is, when it's physical, when you've got a toddler, it ends up, it could potentially end up anywhere, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I found um, my boy's PJs. He ended up putting them in the fridge the other day. And I was like, they're here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I can see the transition to digital being much better. Um, oh, absolutely. And you were a, um, a keen sort of student in the Marie Pooling course, right? Yes. So I started using Notion in January and I heard about Marie um, through a Slack community that I'm in. They had mentioned her YouTube videos and very quickly went down the rabbit hole of just like, I want every single template she has. Like it made <laughs> so much sense to me as a uh, um, design choice and everything she was doing in Notion. Um, so when I saw that she had a course, I pretty much immediately was like, yes, I want to be there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like watching sort of wizardry, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> stuff. Um, and you've made some templates yourself. What, what are those, uh, templates about? Um, so the first template that I made is a free to use one and it's based very heavily off of, um, a little piece of the Notion Mastery course. In Marie's journal, she has a feelings database. Um, and I really liked the idea of that kind of developing emotional literacy um, through daily journaling and had been using that a little bit in pen and paper journaling. And so I kind of branched off that, made it, connected it to um, a certain psychologist has like a feelings wheel that has like whole robust amount of you know things that you can consider as you're deciding like what feelings you're experiencing um and then put that up and then the second one that i have is a holiday planner template um i am one of um eight children so i have oh, seven wow. siblings uh so christmas is a big to do <laughs> oh my god it yeah, just yeah. has to be with that many like you know now adult kids around yeah um so keeping track of like who i've already bought for what i bought for them whether or not we need to put it in the mail or we're going to see them um all those things i compiled into an ocean template uh and oh. so i have that one for sale that's a really cool idea yeah i, I yeah. bet with um with not just the seven people you have to buy for but everybody else it must be mm -hmm. stressful <laughs> you need a database for that <laughs> just oh, yeah. in itself definitely needed a database <laughs> and just being able to be like okay, I found, you know, this particular gift that I know is going to be perfect for them. And yeah. then you put it, you add to cart, but you forget to buy it. And yeah. And I can keep all the links in Notion so I can go back to it when I'm ready. Oh my God. Yeah, I bet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, do you want to show us around your Notion? And um, I will ask a few questions as we do, if that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the main kind of homepage that I have is this HQ and a big piece of the Notion Mastery course is this sort of um, horizons of focus uh, that they take you through and kind of learning how to build uh, these time-based databases. And so each of the little squares is um, a day, a week, a month, quarter, and year that are all in their own databases. Um, and they're all kind of linked up together and they all do different things. Oh, okay. um, 
yeah and so as you scroll down i have kind of like my goals for the year ongoing projects uh time-based projects and kind of a quick look at tasks and then most of my databases live kind of at the bottom of the dashboard that they're supposed to kind of relate to um and there are a whole bunch of them <laughs> <laughs> i bet yeah i i immediately notice um how much of a difference those new databases make on a page mm -hmm. like this i bet oh, yeah. it looks a lot not that it wasn't messy before but like you know like those slight tweaks it just mm -hmm. makes it look so much cleaner doesn't it yeah being able to hide your um the title of the database it was very appealing to me it's just, <laughs> it's, just, it's just one line that you never look at that just is more text than i ever really need um yeah. and so it's just really nice to have it all hidden away definitely so i'm guessing the sort of active goals keeps all of your sort of focus for the the year and onwards at mind right Mm -hmm. And then the projects sort of get you down to the, drill you down to the sort of the, the meat and bones of, right. of your work, right? Right. And so when I think about um, kind of the day-to-day -day things that I'm doing, I don't actually spend a huge amount of time on this page. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of a nice place to land when I start my day, but I immediately kind of am going into what do I need to do today or this week or this month? Um, and where I spend the most time is my today page and it's much simpler and then it's just got my task database, uh, my journal for today, and then focus projects. Uh, another big piece of notion mastery is kind of the idea of theming your days. There are a lot of us, myself included, that, um, either have been diagnosed with ADHD or identify as like neurodivergent in some way. And so being able to, uh, kind of put blinders on and see exactly what you're supposed to be doing and kind of, um, pre-decide that is really helpful for things like executive function and just, you know, getting things done. Yeah, I've just got a question on that because um, mm -hmm. we get a lot of viewers that do have ADHD. And um, do you, have you found that um, compared to bullet journaling, how did you find it helped with that sort of intentional uh, sort of management of your day? Yeah, uh, my ADHD diagnosis was pretty recent um, okay. earlier this year. But even before that, I think with Notion, it's really easy for me to set up ways to kind of um, surface information. Whereas in a journal, I would write down, you know, thoughts or notes or ideas, and I would index it in a bullet journal. I'd say like what page it was on. But if I was done with that journal and I would go through, you know, a paper journal in four to six months, mm -hmm. uh, if I had something that I knew was connected, but I wasn't sure which journal it lived in, it was basically gone forever. So yeah. this has been really useful to be able to kind of see, especially in my job, year over year data mm. um, and like projects that I do. I work in marketing and communications and we always publish an annual report. Um, we always have philanthropy projects and they have a lot of similarities. So it's nice to be able to kind of go back to the prior year's project and say, okay, uh, what do I need to do the same? What do I need to do differently? And to have kind of the tasks already mm. almost pre-populated. Yeah, I bet. Definitely. Yeah. I really like how it's, um, really well color coded and organized and you can feel sort of a sense of when you walk into it that mm -hmm. you got you got it grips for the day right yeah um, for sure and and what um like take me through how you do the sort of journaling process do you um do what time of day do you do that and and how do you do it in notion yeah so my two kind of journaling spots are up here this um morning and what I and Marie both call the um, Daily Me's. Um, I read last year the book Work Clean, and um, it's the power of kind of that mise en place to set up your day. Really good book. Highly recommend it. Work clean. Okay. Um, I've never heard of it. <laughs> where I do, yeah, where I do most of my journaling is kind of in this morning page that I begin uh, with. And so I kind of set how I'm feeling, set an intention. Mm -hmm. So, 
and I have a bunch and there are links to the journal days. So I'll take time for myself. I'll usually identify a feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and this is kind of a glimpse of that feelings database. Yeah. You know? And, and then I'll kind of go on with my day. Yeah. I usually do the rest of the input that morning as well. So this mm -hmm. is yesterday that I already filled out. Oh, yeah. um, and so I'm in, I, there's the intention. I add a couple more things that I felt. Um, the practices are kind of like a daily habit tracking. I used to do mm -hmm. a lot of habit tracking in a bullet journal and um, got really invested in the idea of kind of gamifying habits. Mm -hmm. So yeah. kind of assigning a point value and assigning them to the day. And then you can see the actual, this is the, these are the point values on the side. Um, and then the little point value gets uh, added up Scored and gives you a little <laughs> like score and celebration. If it gets over a hundred, I get to celebrate. So. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Yesterday yeah, was I really very like good that. day. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Um, I really like the way that you've approached it. And where would you say, um, aside from the sort of today area, where would you say you spend most of your time in your Notion account? Um, it depends. So work time, uh, definitely content marketing. Mm. Um, I created a content kind of dashboard because okay. that is the bulk of my job is just kind of deciding, um, what we're going to put on social media, the communications that we're going to send out to families, um, some of the like, you know, print publications that we're going to publish mm. year over year. And all of that kind of happens in this content database. Mm. Uh, at the top, I can, you know, generate new ideas. I can go by type. Mm. Um, if I want to just really quickly see kind of what type of content I can create. And then if I've created any, any of it already. So like mm. I haven't made any infographics, I could consider doing something related to that. Um, and then as you scroll down, you get into the actual creation and the calendar. And so it's Fantastic. a really nice way to like at a glance schedule all of the things that we need to send out. Um, yeah. Looks really, uh, really nice, like neat and organized. It uh, <laughs> looks perfect. Um, how do you sort of, um, <clears throat> I guess the, the thing that many people might ask is how do you um, feel that obviously the course massively helped with that, but do you have any tips for people that um, would like to set up something like this that maybe um, wouldn't have the opportunity of going on the course or something like that? And, or maybe just some tips that you found that transitioned you into thinking a bit more like this to some extent? Yeah. So I think that the big piece of information that's really helpful just starting out is really understanding how databases can um, serve in place of pages. I think when a lot of people mm. start out in Notion, it's um, very page centric and they use a lot of the blocks on specific pages. I was a huge fan of like, just give me a page with a zillion check boxes yeah. um, and like some call outs and some links. But once you figure out that you can kind of like filter uh, this page data mm. and and tag it and sort it in that way, I think a whole new like realm of um, options open up to you. So yeah. with in creating like a content dashboard or something where you're managing a lot of pieces, something like this, you don't really even need these top databases it's really just this one content database where i mm. can just you know each of these is either a, a blog post or a instagram mm, um, that's it, yeah. instagram post or anything like that and being able to see it on this calendar view means i can drag it around i can drop it and it just really helps visually organize your thoughts yeah that's that's good advice it's like bring it bring it back to infrastructure with mm -hmm. databases. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, that was really interesting, Lucy. Um, where can everyone find you after um, today's video? Yeah, so I am uh, on Twitter at Little Badger Co. 
and I have my Gumroad linked to that for the templates that I put out. I will do um, a really nerdy plug. The main reason that I got Notion last year in January was to um, track and have notes for my sessions that I played in uh, in Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, awesome. (laughs) I'm working on as hopefully my next template oh will my be God. this player binder um, where you can keep all of your notes. Yeah. And so I will uh, show my. Oh notes. yeah. Keep us updated on that. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love, I love seeing, um, I remember last year, even seeing that uh, the Pokemon deck they did in, yes. um, in notion. I was like, Oh, completely like, wow, this is insane. And this it looks like it's going to be insane too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, saw, I saw someone had published an Animal Crossing like yeah uh, yeah I remember being and I was like, completely oh, I need, obsessed I need that. yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think um, another piece of the Notion Mastery course that's really funny is just seeing everyone's um there's a really good community that's built up around it and people oh, yeah. kind of all building in their own spaces and there are a lot of people that are really invested in uh, mario kart and formula oh, one yeah. so i've seen some pretty cool databases and uh, dashboards around that yeah oh i didn't even know there was like an f1 notion community mm-hmm. oh, oh i'll be yeah. all over that <laughs> absolutely brilliant oh well it's been amazing having you lucy and thank you for taking the time out um, absolutely. um obviously so yeah we'll get this out probably in in the next week or so but a big thank you and um and let's uh Let's keep in touch for sure. Absolutely.